When I was a kid, I was always told that an engineer was someone who drove trains. And even though I had a likening for math and science, I just didn't know where I could go to find out more about it. With this program, my goal was to change that, to show students exactly what engineers do. My name is LeVar Askew. I'm a software architect at Intel. The name of the program is Inclusion in Tech. What I felt like I needed to do was I needed to get some of the devices that I seen in the lab, like the ASUS 3400, and I needed to provide those machines to the students. Uh, I started it off as kind of a trick. Hey, come play video games and draw pictures and then tell me what you think. But really what I wanted to do was, uh, was to get students to understand the knowledge that they're learning from teachers every day that seems boring is absolutely key to the success of the tech companies today. One example would be the equation of a line, y equals mx plus b, and then showing how that's used in AI, just with the high school math that the students already know. The second thing is public speaking. Uh, many of these kids are very shy. They don't talk much. And so what this program did was it gave them a place where they could be themselves and they could learn to communicate. When I have guest speakers come in, they, the students don't just listen, they ask questions. I've also had them give a presentation to upper level management at Intel. Just hearing their presentations, there were students that wouldn't say two words. And to get to see them um, give a you know presentation for a few minutes and have slides and, and talk about things in great detail, um, it, was, it was amazing. Um, to see. It almost brought me to tears to see some of the students that have grown in that short amount of a time. Before everything, I was a little shy and I didn't really like talking to people. And throughout the program, I just incorporated myself into everything and it really helped me. One of the things that I noticed right off the bat is that I didn't have to teach them anything. They already know how Blender works. They already know how Sketchbook works. Many of them already understand calculus, but when you give them a device that can help them explore those things more, they, they, sh they really start to show you their talent. The one thing about young people is they get equipment and they're trying to break it. They're trying to figure out how this all works. So they'll do, they'll have so many things running. They're always trying to test the limits and you can only test the limits when you have equipment that you're able to push to the limits. Asus. Chromebooks have been amazing. Students were able to do more things. Uh, they were able to feel more confident, to do gaming, to do art, to just navigate because it had more power. Um, what I liked about the computers was I liked how thin it was because it was portable and I could just carry it anywhere. And I liked the touch screen, the camera cover, the just the stylus. I find that the Chromebook is most useful for my biomed class. We have to use a lot of sources in our projects. So if I can switch between tabs seamlessly, that would take me much less time. The pictures on the Chromebook, it seemed to pop out more. The colors seemed a lot more vibrant than other devices, and I really like that. It really helped me with uh, digital design, and it just showed a new path to me because I'm not really good at art, but I just like doing it. The reason why I chose to partner with ASUS is because their devices provided the most functionality at a, at a reasonable price point. It lends itself well to exploration. I could unleash the creativity of my students. Normally, what IT decision makers say what they want from a Chromebook is repairability and uh, durability. But what I'm trying to do is put at the forefront engagement like how the device actually handles with the students and the teachers. It's not that durability and repairability aren't important, but it shouldn't be more important than the learning needs of the student. In regards to the student's progress and what they've been able to accomplish, they've done way more than I ever expected. Some of the students were not interested, didn't think they would be interested in like technology types of things, computers, but it all changed. They, once they went through the program, um, they became more interested. They saw the different things that they could do. Also, just talking to students, they seemed more um, interested and engaged in what, you know, they wanted to continue. They're able to do more 
and it puts them in a position where they feel like other people may have more money, they may have more resources, but hey, I got something too. Some um, look like they had years of experience and it was only for a few months. Pat Gelsinger is the CEO of Intel. He joined Intel at 18 years old. And one of the questions that I asked myself, where would Intel be without an 18-year-old Pat? Well, I got some kids, they're 14, and I think they're, they're little Pats. You know what I mean? I think there's more out there. And I think that these kids have more to contribute to the world. Right now, we don't have to wait until they graduate from college, from undergrad, in order to employ them or make them interns or mentor them. I say, I think we should just start right now, start with where they are.